Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we're going to do Pink Floyd on the Turning Away. Now, look, this right here is a message that I can really get behind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyone who is well off financially really needs to watch this and understand the context of it. Okay? Really. Not saying, you know, they should give everything they got. Not saying that, you know, but at least, you know, do something. Even if they try to, you know, get their buddies to help out a little bit more, that would be enough too. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's go and check this out, y'all. I hate this so much. Not the video. I love the video. Um, I, I hate to see people... Uh, living like this. Y'all see what I'm talking about? If y'all haven't seen this yet, it's not good. Turning away from the pain and downtrodden and the words they say, which we won't understand. Don't accept that what's happening is just a case of other suffering. Joining in the turning away. It's a sin that somehow light is changing to shadow and casting. It's a sin that somehow. We'll see. Dedicated to the invisibles who opened my eyes. To what is now visible. Oh man. I mean. So. So sad y'all. All right, y'all. I was wondering what that sign said. It says, "Why lie? Need a beer." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, hey, I get it. You know. No. I 
want to catch some of these signs, y'all. Have you ever felt invisible before? Oh, man, y'all. Such a deep message right here. War veteran disabled. Homeless, hungry. No more turning away. Now, it's possible I might have just realized why they're so small. Uh, maybe that's because that's how they feel, right? Because like that sign said, have you ever felt invisible? Um, so it could be this is how small and insignificant they feel, right? Because they're constantly being ignored. Because that's what the song is about, the turning away. Because you see them, and yet you turn away from them. All right. Oh man, y'all. Um, I tell you what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and look at the lyrics for this song. All right. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lyrics. Verse one: On the turning away from the pale and downtrodden, 
and the words they say, which we won't understand. Don't accept that what's happening. It's just a case of all the suffering, or you'll find that you're joining in the turning away. It's a sin that somehow light is changing to shadow and casting its shroud over all we have known, unaware how the ranks have grown, driven on by a heart of stone. We could find that we are all alone in the in the dream of the proud. Yeah, I mean, we got some really deep lyrics right here, y'all. So basically what they're saying in the first verse is um, on the turning away from the pale and downtrodden and the words they say which we won't understand. So what they're saying is how they're suffering and how they need help. We won't understand because we're not in their shoes. That's why um, we will turn away from them because we don't understand. All right. And then in verse 2, it's saying basically... Uh, as we're turning away from them, it's a sin because we could help, but we choose not to. Uh, unaware how the ranks have grown. I think that's saying unaware of how much of a problem it's become. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because it's an epidemic of people losing their homes. All right. On the wings of the night, as the daytime is staring, where the speechless unite in a silent accord using words you will find are strange mesmerized as they light the flame feel the new wind of change on the wings of the night um, so what they're saying here is feel the new wind of change so recognize that a lot more people are starting to not turn away all right so that's what we're getting into now is a a change in the tide no more turning away from the weak and the weary no more turning away from the coldness inside, just a world that we all must share. It's not enough just to stand and stare. Is it only a dream that there will be no more turning away? Um, I'm going to say no, and I'm going to say because of content like this, uh, it's going to have an impact, all right? And that's what I wanted to do it for, is to have an impact. You know, they put forward such an, an amazing video and a concept, right, to help people to understand that you know, it's easy for you to focus on the fact that 
you don't have these problems, right? You know, you have a place to call home. You have a roof over your head. Um, and it's easy to focus on that and say, well, why can't they do what I did? You know what I'm saying? It's easy to say that. Oh, they just want to buy booze and they just want to spend it on whatever else, right? That's deflection. That's exactly what that is. You don't know what that person's been through, all right? Unless you've, you know, spent every five minutes with that person throughout their entire lives, you got no idea what they've been through. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, that's one thing right there, you know, I would say it's never a good idea to try and compare yourself to someone else. Because every person's life is going to be different. You know, even if you take two people and give them the same exact diagnosis, they could experience things much differently from each other. All right, uh, without a doubt, you know, one person might be able to go to work and have a normal life with the same exact diagnosis. Another person might be, you know, completely disabled and not have a chance at trying to have a normal life. Okay, so you can't go by just the diagnosis. It can give you an indication of what might be wrong with that person, but you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, such an inspiration this song is. Um, all right. I will see y'all in the next video. Till then, I'm out.